and welcome back to another episode of Menace Rides. In this episode, we're going to be doing an injector return test. So basically, we're taking a little test kit and we're going to test our diesel injectors. So stay tuned. Let's get educated. Let's get this done. guys so in this episode like i explained to you we're going to be doing an injector return test so basically we're, we're testing the return of each injector to give us an idea of how the injectors are operating we have cleaned out the fuel tank and the fuel sender unit filter sift that's in there that's in the previous video so if you want to see how we did that check our video it'll be somewhere in the link over here and uh let's get into it let me show you what we need guys so i've got a 35 pound uh, diesel return test kit uh, it's made to suit a six cylinder vehicle we'll only be using four of these uh, it comes with a whole bunch of different uh, return line attachments to suit the vehicle so we'll be fitting the right ones onto there once your vehicle is warmed up and is at operating temperature that's the ideal situation to do a return line test on this particular vehicle it's the mercedes b uh, mercedes W204 250 CDI uh, blue efficiency. We've got the car up to temp. We've taken the beauty cover off. I don't have to show you guys how to do that. It's just a little clip in the front and two retaining clips at the back. I've also got this uh, interior panel removal tool. These work ideal for this job. In case you're wondering, it's uh, one of these. You can also get them eBay, Amazon. They're very easy to find. Okay, these are our injectors, guys. Let me show you. Injector one, two, three, and four. We need to plug in four lines here. So we have to remove our return lines. That's these guys here. Basically with this tool, I'll try to get you in there. We are able to go underneath the little clip, the retaining clip, it's a two piece, don't lose them. Probably good to have spare ones on end. And pop, there goes our return line. So we're gonna take these off quickly. There we go, there's number two. There's number three. There's number four. Let's push back and there we go. We've retained all our clips, nothing broken. Nice and easy, guys. We're going to get set up and bring you guys back in, but basically, we're going to get exactly the same. If you have a look here, we're going to get exactly the same size nozzles in the test kit set up quickly. And uh, we'll show you how to plug it in. We'll start this vehicle. We'd like to do this test over three runs to just get an average. So we'll run it three times. Uh, get an average and see what we get as a result and hopefully it indicates us into the direction of a faulty injector This is a diesel engine guys. Just remember this is done on a diesel engine And I'll see you when we set up All right guys, we've emptied out our test tube bottles uh, We're about to restart it. Just making sure everything's plugged in nicely again I'm going to start the engine and let's try affirm that number two is a problem. Let's start. Back and straight away we can see She's not drinking anything. Alright guys, so what we're going to do now is we know there's a problem on number two, most likely a faulty injector, but we want to try and eliminate a uh, block fuel line on the common rail. From the common rail, this is your common rail here. So basically this spreads the fuel to all the units. We want to make sure that number two is a problem so we're going to clean out the bottles just to make sure we're on the right track guys because we don't want to just be throwing money at parts we're going to swap injector one and number two around and we're hoping to get a problem on number one bottle and the problem at number two disappearing and that will tell us that injector's a problem so to do that guys step in here we've got a size 17 fuel line we've got a electrical clip we have to take the electrical side out. These work on solenoids because it's a common rail. So we'll unclip the electrical side. 
We'll undo the fuel rail on both sides, so on the injector side and on the common rail side so that that fuel line is loose. We don't want to be bending it and we will swap them around. There's one bolt holding each injector down. We'll jiggle in there, lift it up, pull it out, swap it over and see what we get as a result. So I'm not going to bore you. I'll do a video on how to replace these once we've got the new ones. For now, I'm just going to swap it around. This is just for the purposes of a test, a return line test. So when you see us again, we would have swapped these two around and we will be starting the engine again. Let's see what happens. All right guys, so we've managed to swap injector one and two around. We took a bit of time, it's getting dark, sorry about that. We can bring it in closer, we'll have a look. So we've swapped injector one and two around. I'm gonna start it up and we're hoping the problem has moved to inject to uh, test tube number one. Let's see what happens. Problems moved to injector one. It took long to start because the fuel lines were disconnected and had to build up pressure. Problem is in injector one. We'll come back. Wow. All right, guys. So on our first two trials, our first two tests, injector two was confirmed to be returning way too quick and way too much we swapped injector one and two we're now getting the problem on injector number one we're going to empty this out we're going to do it for one last time obviously the system had to repressurize and refuel that's why it had a long start uh cranking no start and then it eventually kicked in so to be sure of ourselves we're going to redo it and double check because when that injector was out we did take the time and just clean the nozzle of the injector possibly it's done something good to it but we can still see it is returning quite a lot faster than the rest of the injectors it does seem slower though but that could be because of the low fuel pressure so we're going to empty this out and do one final test and that should be us we are back on our final test to make sure that this particular injector is faulty we swapped them around we've emptied it out we trade number one i'm hoping to get the same result let's slide it up The one is returning quite fast. Put the lights out, we're getting fuel. A little bit slower than before, but it's, there we go, it's bursting, it's messing. Not only on the fuel. Okay, guys, the one return line that's pushing back so fast and hot actually popped off, and that's leading to our problem child. So, definitely a problem on injector one we did clean the nozzle hoping it would be better but it's obviously in need of refurbishment we'll just buy a refurbished unit and show you guys how to actually change an injector so stay tuned guys like share and subscribe i know it's dark but we're getting the content out there and hopefully you've learned something if you like it subscribe see you on the next one and it's right